Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the CircuitPython stubs and how to load them into PyCharm so that it will recognize them and use them for intellig uh, IntelliSense, stuff like that. So um, in order to make the stubs you pretty much have to do a bunch of the same setup that you need to do if you want to make CircuitPython itself. So you can see here I have a learn guide page built, uh, pull, pulled up. This is the learn guide for building CircuitPython and I'm on the build CircuitPython page right here, and there's four commands at the top of the page which we are gonna need to run if we wanna make the stubs. So we need to clone a copy of the repository. We wanna go inside of it with CD. We wanna do a git submodule sync right there, quiet recursive, and then we wanna do git submodule update init. So I have a terminal open right here where I've already run these commands. You can see right there, uh, git clone the CircuitPython repository. I went inside of it there with CD, submodule sync quiet recursive, and then you can see here, uh, get submodule update init. And this one does take a couple minutes to run um, and it will print a bunch of stuff out when you run it. So um, if you wanna pause this video while you run those commands, you can do that. Um, and I have already gotten it done. So it printed all this stuff out, scrolled all the way down. It's printing stuff, all these things. It's uh, cloning all these different repositories, printing a bunch of stuff, printing a bunch of stuff. Okay, and it, you can see on my computer here, it took about two minutes. It might take you a little bit of a different time um, just depends on a bunch of things, I'm sure. Um, but once it is done, then you are ready to go. So the next thing that we need to do in order to make the stubs is just run one more command, which is make stubs, right like this. And it's gonna print a bunch of things out as it makes all these files, PYI files. Uh, so if I do an LS now, you can see we've got these new um, directories. These directories weren't here a moment ago. Of course, I didn't show you that, but you can see it yourself when you clone the repository. Um, so this one's CircuitPython stubs, and then this one's CircuitPython stubs egg info. And uh, this is what we need to add to PyCharm in order to get the stubs to work. So I'm going to go ahead and go uh, over to PyCharm. Now that we've built the stubs, we want to add them into our IDE. So in PyCharm, uh, you can see here I have a test project loaded up with a pretty, you know, basic uh, CircuitPython um, script. This is like a, you know, basic blinking script or something like that, it looks like. So, you know, it's using digital I.O. to set up a pin and then it's going to try to, you know, set that direction to output and then change the value back and forth. And you can see up here, these are red. So PyCharm doesn't understand uh, what these imports are, digital I.O. Uh, in board or uh, digital I.O., I should say. Um, so that's what we want to do is import the stubs so that it will know what those things are. So to do that, we need to go to preferences or settings. And the way I like to get there is control alt S. Um, I think maybe you could get there from file two, probably right here, file settings. Um, but this is the window we want to get to. And then we want to go to Python interpreter right here on the left. Uh, so you might have something different highlighted right here. You want to go to Python interpreter. Then uh, up at the top, they have this drop down here, which is going to show you all of the installations of Python that you have and a gear next to it. So you want to click this gear. You want to do show all. OK, this is going to show you all the different uh, Python interpreters you have. And now you want to click this thing right here that says show paths for the selected interpreter. You want to click that on your main interpreter. Show paths. That's going to open up this window right here, interpreter paths. And this is how we can add the stubs into um, PyCharm here. I know it's kind of a weird process. I'm not sure why this is what we need to do, uh, but this is, is what I found works. So uh, we can do that. We're going to click on this add right here. And then we want to go and find uh, the place where we just built those stubs. So in my case, I cloned it into this repository from other. It cloned as the name CircuitPython. And then I did a make stubs and that created this folder right here, CircuitPython stubs. So you're gonna wanna go and find where that's at on your own computer and point it to this CircuitPython stubs folder and then click okay. So now it shows up in this list here. Click okay again, click okay again. Click okay again. You can see if you caught it uh, just a second there, it did some stuff in the background. Um, and now you should have it set up to where it's going to recognize what these things are. Any built-in modules in CircuitPython, it will know what they are. So uh, you can see these aren't red anymore, digital I.O. And um, what's cool about this is you can, you know, do all the things that you're used to doing in PyCharm. So you can do control, right? If I hold control, I can click and I can go inside here. I can see what the, um, you know, I can see the docs basically for this function call. So it tells me what kind of parameters needs, tells me what's going to return, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, if you're going to write some new code, like, uh, you know, pin equals, uh, you know, it does IntelliSense right here. So it's going to suggest these things for you now. So I can just hit tab, 
you know, dot, I could tell it, yep, did it all in and out, that's the thing I want. Uh, it doesn't know about board, right? Because it doesn't know what board you have, so it's not sure what pins there are, so you still have to fill that out yourself. Um, but you can do, you know, all the other stuff. So direction it knows, we're gonna say equals digital IO again. We could say direction dot input if we wanted to. You can say pin dot pull equals digital IO dot pull dot down or up or whatever. So you can see it's got access to all the different built-in things uh, in CircuitPython. So, um, you know, I showed you here only with digital IO, but it has, uh, if we look in the folder where it's at, it has a bunch of different things. It has all the built-in modules. Um, so, you know, bus device, analog IO, audio bus, everything is in there. Um, so if your script makes use of any of these built-in things, then PyCharm will know about it and it will be able to offer IntelliSense. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Um, thank you.